Hey, the sun came out. You liking that? He's digging it. It's like, oh, yeah, I gotta suck up some of this. Suck up some of this vitamin D. Yeah. You like that? He likes that. <laughs> You're gonna fall. Not careful. <laughs> sniff, 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 sniff. Puppy. Hi. So I'm just on my way down to my appointment I've been talking about. The reason I'm doing a voiceover on this is because the audio was bad, but I'm a little bit nervous at this point because it's going to be a long day of testing. There's kind of an interesting view of downtown Seattle. It's kind of pretty. Just waiting for my next appointment. Is that apartment over there? I think it was where they filmed the singles movie. Okay. Did with people. Yeah, I'm only on the fifth floor. <laughs> yeah, okay. These guys make way too much of money. <laughs> There's one fancy office I'll have to show you on the way out. It's crazy. So far, so good. I had my hearing test done, so uh, major loss in my left side. That's. Yeah, I'll explain that later. Well. <laughs> shit. Now I'm even more confused. Uh, this doctor says that I've got something else. And this whole surgery may not be necessary. But the bad news is it ain't going away ever. This just sucks. I don't know what to do this whole situation. Mal de Dorcamage. If that's how you pronounce it, it's what it is. It's not in any relation to what I had. This doctor. I'm gonna have to explain it to you. It's really kind of weird. Um, give me a second. Oh, it's pretty. It's kind of an angle of Seattle you don't see very often. Anyway, I'm about ready to ball my eyes out. I went to this other doctor, and he says this is what I have, and it's related to people that get off boats and planes and stuff like that, and they get this and it just never goes away. And it had nothing to do with my nerves, apparently. So, that other doctor, I don't know which one to believe now. I really don't. So, I was about to frickin' cry because one doctor says one thing and another doctor says another. I mean, they still say that I have an artifact on my vessel, so I don't know what that means. Anyway, I go pick up Tammy. I'll learn more once I study up on this and see what I can find out, but I'm at a loss. Bummed out. But there is, there's, this thing's just never going away. It's depressing. Yeah, so apparently I got some fucked up French disease. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. So I don't know, it's fucking weird. Yeah, one doctor says one thing and another says doctor says another thing. Maybe I got both. So I'm going to get those two to like do a vendor meet and figure out what's going on there. I don't know. They said that basically the implant for that would do me no good. Well, uh, thank God for GPS or I'd be lost. A lot of people downtown today. Of course, I haven't been downtown Seattle. God knows who long, how long. Yeah, I kind of miss living down here. I actually grew up uh, for a while living in downtown Seattle. All right, now to find Tammy and all this mess. Oh, I think the Ferrari dealership's on this corner. That'd be cool. Okay, now I'm in the old stomping grounds. <laughs> it's old uh, Queen Anne. We got a lot of old, like, God, a lot of attractive women out today. I'm sorry. It's horrible. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of old like buildings, Queen Anne Manor and old apartments and stuff like that. A lot of old clay stuff. God, this brings back memories. It's been a long time since I've been up here. Check it out, I didn't know Shay had a freaking restaurant. He did this over there, right? I know. <laughs> Here's the big old bear. Rawr! And the white balance retard thing. Uh, so yeah. Um, what was I saying? I need coffee. 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 
Anyway, today's been a good day. I got diagnosed, I think. <laughs> it makes sense. But some other things don't make sense, so I've got a follow-up appointment. Uh, I was kind of like out of it back there when I was about ready to break down and just freaking start crying. <laughs> I've been running through the ringer on, oh yeah, you got this, oh yeah, you got this. But I, maybe I'm just like freaking Monty Burns. I got all these diseases just combined together. I'm just a walking freaking typhoid, typhoid Mary. Mary of some sort or something like that. But uh, they do, uh, what? Oh, a bunch of pigeons or crows lined up uh, on the billboard. Couldn't see them. <coughs> but, um, yeah, I'm still kind of up in the air. And, I mean, that makes total sense, and I've never heard of it. I kind of vaguely heard about it. But, uh... <laughs> That doesn't mean I, I don't have to get an implant. Makes sense. It's definitely a lot cheaper. But, you know what the sad thing is? Mm. You know what the sad thing is? What's sad? It will never go away. That's it. It might. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Don't know. I bet you know what could make it go away. <laughs> a million dollars. Send me a million dollars and I'll be so happy. I just won't care how I feel. <laughs> Shit. Speaking of money, my bonus check is ready and I'm gonna go pick it up. We're gonna go spend it and get drunk and do drugs and. No, we're not. We're gonna go pay bills and take care of a few things and go to have a nice dinner or something. Ooh. We can't, can we have a date night? When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Where do you wanna go? dinner and a movie. A movie? Yeah. <laughs> what movie you want to see? Chick flick. Chick flick? Yeah, what chick flick? Chick uh, I don't... Hobbit. That's not a chick flick. <laughs> You're a nerd though, so you should be able to... No, do okay. that? I don't know. Can we do that? When was the last time we actually... I don't know. Like... I don't so much like going to movie theaters anymore because my butt always gets numb. I'm just like sitting there. I, well, I guess it's those blockbuster movies we always go see that are like three hours long. <laughs> so that I can't stand. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if, that, there were, the if, if you want to take a smoke break, in yeah, it. yeah. If you guys, if you guys do that, let me know in the comments if you guys do the theaters because I normally don't do them anymore. But I, I think it, unless it's like a blockbuster, then I'll go see it. Like we haven't seen the Hobbit yet. Hell, is it even still playing in the theaters? Oh, uh, I'm sure. So I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, all in all, pretty good day. Kind of stressful, but and. good day and a horrible day um, you know I just edited what I did today and watched and um, I don't know how to explain it I mean, before one doctor said one thing which was basically that I probably had to go by cutting the nerve and uh, getting the implant and taking some drastic measures but it wasn't really in the cards um, because it's not, doctors won't do it until it's to the point where it's, uh, uh really far gone and I just, uh, it, it needs to be done. Um, <clears throat> this new doctor that I went to, um, that I got consultant Ballard and then went to the hill here today to find out, tells me something completely different and I can't even pronounce it, but it's a syndrome. It can be viral. It can be, um, they just really can't explain it. And so I've been diagnosed with something that um, is along the same lines of what they were talking about earlier. I know it's all really confusing and it even confuses me, but that's the diagnosis they're giving me and some medication that I'm going to try and see what happens. But if it happens in the future, they want me to come in and, um, you know, go from there. So I've really gotten nowhere, which is... It's just disappointing. I, 
I feel like this all the time, guys, and I try to keep it off the vlogs, but it's very uncomfortable to be like this all the time. And I try so hard not to bring it up, but today, today was a day that... It's, it's, it was hopefully going to be a turning point in my life, but obviously not, so I am stuck with this for a lifetime. There's no way out of it other than to just deal with the problem and live with it and continue on. So I don't know how I can explain to you guys how I feel all the time. It's like being on a boat and not being able to get off. And then that messes with your whole body and you feel lousy. You feel tired all the time. It's just horrible. <clears throat> I wish I could be happier and bring you guys happier vlogs, but we're not like that. We're, you know, tell me how long have we been doing this and we've been real in all these vlogs and we've shared every good, bad thing with you. What is Shay doing now? He's doing a documentary and wants to see all the, all the good and the bad. You know, we got, we've been doing that since forever. So we got that capitalized. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I've just been really kind of upset up and down and all over the place today. Um, hopefully I just, just could do some thinking, maybe get some counseling because to be honest with you guys, this whole thing has just caused me a whole bunch of depression, a whole bunch of non-motivation. I don't like to do things when I'm feeling like this all the time. It's difficult enough just getting around doing daily tasks and doing whatever. I can be happy in front of the computer because I'm not moving. It's not good for me. They say the best thing for this is exercise and taking care of yourself and all that stuff. And it makes sense to me. But it is so freaking hard to to do that because it just makes me sick. I mean, like, physically get sick from exercising and throwing my head around and doing all kinds of stuff to aggravate my vertigo to make it better. I've been doing that for I don't know how many years. But anyway, sorry for the depressing blog, guys. I This is something I'm sharing either with myself for the future or for those of you guys that care. Anyway, um, thanks, for, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, good night.